Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is February 8th and the energies within the day adds up and reduce to the number eight vibration. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. So the number eight energy is amplified and Mercury is the ruler of the day and Mercury is in Capricorn. So like the number eight Capricorn energy is associated with Saturnian energy. So Saturn energy is amplified today. So if Saturn energy amplified today, like thank God that uh, Mercury in Capricorn is positively aspecting the moon. So when it comes to that, at least the inner world and the mind is on the same accord. Because with the number eight energy, the number eight energy is one that's extremely focused to the point of tunnel vision. And the danger when it comes to tunnel vision, to me, it's the same as like projecting. It's, it's, it's like, you know, it's like gazing off. It's like being so focused to the point that the person is no longer seeing what's in front of them. They're focused on what's in their mind to the point where it's like a person could be walking around with blindfolds because they're so focused. Like people who are strongly associated with the number eight energy tends to get in trouble as children for like overlooking things. This is where a child will step over a plate on the ground, even though the plate probably shouldn't be on the ground in the first place. But say there's a plate on the ground for whatever reason, and this is where the person will step right over it. And someone else is like, you didn't see that there? Like you couldn't pick that up? Or better yet, like maybe somebody's pocketbook is somewhere and a person might just sit on it or do something and somebody else might feel like that's so disrespectful like how dare you you know blah 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 whatever and trust me it's not intentional because with the number eight energy this is where we're so focused on a thought focus on achievement success educating like getting to the next level like leveling up and feeling a sense of responsibility and need to be an authority. And from the pressure of that, the tunnel vision and the focus is out of this world to where it's like, if we don't place something in front of us, we can't see it. The number eight energy deals with the student and the teacher. So on this day, you could find yourself getting this burst of inspiration to purchase that course. It's like you hit purchase and bought a course today. Or you decide I'm going to go back to school or I'm going to commit myself to learning this thing or the next. And of course, with the energies within the year 2020, 2023 supports that deep dive. But the thing is with the number eight energy, the number eight energy to me is more of is a concrete thinking energy. So this is where it's like regurgitating something that you've learned, but not really applying any personal knowledge to it. So I think of like people who are good test takers. I feel like people who are strongly associated with the number eight, and if they don't have any other things in their chart, aspecting them or say like the number three or the number five in their core numbers getting in the way. But the number eight energy by itself is a great test taker because this energy is a concrete thinking energy. This energy to me is is a, is a more programmable energy where people who are strongly associated with the number eight has, have a hard time on programming themselves. So with the number eight energy, this is where we'll see certain people. When, when we look in the world, we'll see a lot of people of a, an authority with the number eight energy, because the number eight energy deals with systems. And it's like being able to like, 
be a part of a system. And to me, being, being able to be a part of a system means, you know, being a part of the routine and kind of putting away our own personal needs and desires and just becoming one with this repetitive system or cycle. Like I think of say what's going on in the world with some of what happened. A, a friend shared a video with me on Instagram and on the video, it's a mother concerned about her child because she got her child some things done that the doctor um, suggested. And now the child is experiencing major complications with the heart that they never experienced before. And the doctors are telling this mom that there is no way that this new thing that they encourage her to put inside her child is causing the heart complications. And it's like, how do you know there's no way when this new thing hasn't even been around long enough? And it's like common sense, which is not so common, would say, okay, what's new with the child? Okay, this thing is new. Okay, this thing is new and this issue is also new. So maybe we should look at that. But when it comes to say concrete thinking, it's like programmed to not look that way. So you don't look that way because you're programmed to not look that way. So it's like, this is where common sense doesn't step in to say, okay, well, let's consider all things. But then I think of the number eight energy and like Capricorn energy, dealing with authority and titles to the point that we will defend something even though it's destructive. And it's not the thing that we're defending, we're defending ourselves when we defend that thing. So it's like, I think about say people who might say defend certain titles because they have that title and from their title, they've been able to get certain perks or certain or feel like an authority. And it's like, if that title is being spoke against, even if there's truth to it, it's like to speak against that title, speaking against myself. So this is where our egos get the best of us and we defend our titles instead of defending truth. So when it comes to say the number eight energy associated with the day, this is where we can find ourselves more focused on say the title than like our truth. So it's like, when it comes to say your truth, can you see yourself pursuing a certain kind of path? Can you see yourself pursuing that path? Can you see yourself falling in love with the process to that? And it's like, okay, you can't see yourself uh, doing the process, but at the same time, the title is so much better for one day for them to say, oh, you know, this person is this, that, or the next. It's like, that's enough to go after that. Or maybe you're trying to please someone that you love, wanting them to see you more serious. So it's like the, the tunnel vision, you know, cause a person to dismiss what's important to them, what's in their heart and focus more on say, you know, the system and the title being a part of the system, Mercury and Capricorn mind is in a place where it wants to be socially celebrated and to be socially celebrated who decide like what is socially celebrated the system. So it's like, okay, let me be a part of the system. Let me go into the system. And I totally understand that. Like, you know, in the beginning for some of us, like we have to participate and be a part of some of these things to make a living. And I'm here for that. Like I'm here for say, okay, figuring out what it is that we need to survive and to feel and to feel safe and do whatever it and do whatever it takes. Like say with me at 16, I became a CNA. I knew that's not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. But at the same time, at that time in my life, I just wanted to have my own money because I wanted to be able to buy what I wanted to buy and do what I wanted to do. I guess at the time that was my Saturn, you know, strong Saturn placement already showing signs of authority. So for me, it was like, okay, what kind of job can I do at this age that could give me the most money? And CNA was it, but it was never the end all be all. It was just a way to, for me to feel safe, for me to feel comfortable. And then once I'm comfortable and I'm safe, then I can start focusing my attention on other things. And what did I focus on? Hair, which is, you know, hair and going into the hair industry and working for myself from the moment I graduated hair school is like, there's no security or stability in that. You don't know how much money you're going to make each week. You just have to show up and trust. And of course, do a good job. You do a good job and do whatever you have to do. We just got to keep showing up and trusting. 
But before that, I had to step into a position that created security and stability for me. So I'm here for doing whatever it is that you got to do to make yourself feel more secure and stable. But once you're in a stable place, meaning you're making enough money to pay your bills and save something extra, or even if you're not able to save something extra, but you're able to say, stay up later at night to work on your side hustle or your dream. It's like, you got to do what you got to do. But I'm here. I'm all about first getting to a place where we're safe, where we feel safe, where we feel comfortable enough so we can manifest the things that we not, we want. So we won't work against ourselves because we're afraid we're worried. You know, when it comes to say the moon, I'm sorry, you guys, all of a sudden my nose just starts itching over out of nowhere, but you guys are probably already used to that by now. Um, the moon is in Virgo and the moon is being positively aspected by Mercury in Capricorn conjunct Pluto and also Uranus and Taurus. So the moon is being positively aspected by all practical type things. So like I mentioned, this is where you might realize, okay, I want to go back to school. I want to pursue this. I want to pursue that. And this is a day where you can completely overlook what's in your heart and what's important to you because the energies within today is all about the bottom line. When it comes to, say, the spirit animal, we have the frog. And when it comes to the frog energy, I remember someone on Patreon helped me to read the frog different. Shout out to Brianna. So when it comes to, say, the frog energy, like she told me stories about, like, say, um, growing up, how they would have frogs in the backyard. And we had frogs in the backyard too, but I never noticed what she said. Like she noticed that when the frogs got too far away from the water, they would dry up. And when I look at say the frog energy with the water sprinkling on the back of the frog, I think of the importance of say us staying close to our dreams, us staying close to our premonitions, us allowing ourselves to feel our feelings, be aware of our emotions and the importance of all of that. So when I look at the energies in the day and how the energies in the day are so stiff, so practical, so rigid and structured, you know, with all the earth energy, the frog is bringing us to say the importance of sweetness is coming to mind. The importance of how something makes us feel. It's like, all you got to do is ask yourself, say to yourself, I'm going to become a this and a that. And you can feel it within yourself if that's something that you're in alignment with or not. Like, it's so interesting. You should try it. Like, yourself knows what's for you and what's not for you. Because if you say you're going to go after something that you, like, deep inside you know is not for you, you're going to feel this uncomfortable feeling within yourself knowing that you're not making the right decision. So it's like, all you got to do is just ask yourself, like, you know, can I see myself doing this, that, or the next? And yourself will tell you, yourself will tell you all the time. Like, I remember I was joking in the comments. I was joking in the comments with, uh, with, with one of you guys who's always commenting grilled cheese, who'd be cracking me up. And we were talking about, say, not having an ego. And for me, it's interesting how, like, when I'm at home, I'll, I talk to myself so much. It's like, I'll break out into like, okay, so what about this, 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 this? Or I'll think about something and I'll bust out laughing and I'll be like cracking up for a little bit by myself. And when I'm out in public, you know, sometimes like I'll break out doing it and it's like you know you do something so much to where you you don't realize like this is not okay well i mean it's good for me and my relationship with myself like it's, it's great it's amazing like we're good over here but like out in the world like you know we're not con we're, we're we're it's not okay you know what i mean so it's like when i when i think about say these energies within the day, they're so strict, they're so rigid, they're so controlled, they're policing. And it's the same energy within the day that, you know, I'll police myself when I'm out in the world and I'm in the grocery store and I bust out to get ready to have a conversation. It's like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is anybody, is, is, is anybody seeing this? And it's like, yeah, I don't care what people think, but, to, but, but at the same time, you know, as beings, like as social creatures, like 
influence is important and we need each other. So to a certain extent, it's important how we conduct ourselves, how we show up. And I think of all of the practical earth energies that's amplified within the day, that's more focused on that to the point where we're dismissing our emotions or dismissing our premonition. We're dismissing the sweetness, the fun that we need in our lives. So when it comes to say, when it comes to tarot associated with the day, we have the Knight of Swords in the reversal position. And I like the Knight of Swords in the reversal position because this brings me to the thought of, say, someone having this inspiration and then they go and put a bunch of stuff in a shopping cart, but they don't press purchase. It's almost like slowing your roll down. So it's like you put a bunch of stuff in a shopping cart because the day associated with the number eight energy also deals with finances. So we could find ourselves overspending on this day or attracting more money on this day. But with this energy, I think of say you put a bunch of stuff in your shopping cart and instead of just hitting send, instead you decide to go compare prices to see what else is out there, what else is available or even at the same time, maybe not compare prices, but compare purchase to make sure whatever it is that you're purchasing, it's something that's fitting for you right now. So I like that energy because it is causing us to slow down instead of being hasty with the thoughts. And the frog energy is calling us to, you know, go back to like, stay close to how we're feeling, check with your feelings often. Because like I was taught with the frog energy, when frogs are away from water for too long, they'll dry up. And at the time the frog energy kept showing up for me and I was considering getting away from the water. And I didn't realize until now looking back that that card kept coming up. And then the in interpretation that was given to me was so fitting because being by the water is very cleansing to me. It's symbolic of my spiritual journey, my inner world, and the importance of me having a live a lively inner world and one that's rich with a lot of positive emotions. So it's important for you to you know, reflect on say the importance of how you feel about things and not overlook your feeling and focus mainly on money. I hate when people be like facts over feelings, facts or collective agreement, facts or collective agreement. Enough people had to come together and say, this is a fact. So a fact to me is something we all could collectively agree on where what's happening within us personally is our own personal experience and our way of interpreting the world and things around us. And that's important. And we want to nurture that, you know, for me, journaling helps me to nurture that journaling helps me to make that stronger. That ties into our intuition. And for me using intuition, whether it's me having intuition in my everyday life or dreaming, you know, it's like really seeing in life where to me without intuition, without empathy, without all of that, it's like walking through life <clears throat> with blindfolds on <clears throat> and we don't want to do that. You guys, such a pleasure sharing this message with you as usual. If you'd like to book a reading or check out my exclusive contents on Patreon, the link is in the description box below. If you're still here with me, I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a pink heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.